Today I'm going to be showing you how to make mods in the StarCraft 2 editor. Now mods are not to be mistaken with StarCraft 2 arcade maps. Uh, mods only have the triggers, which are the programming part of a map, and the data part, which is the unit information and models part. Example abilities and life, and you can also make models and art through here. So, why would you want to use this? Say you have a lot of large files like music or personal models. Uh, you want to you don't want your players to have to download those every time you push an update. So by making it a mod they don't have to download it every time they make an update. You may also just want to use the same data on your map for uh, multiple terrains since the uh, this grassy part is not included in a mod. You can use the data and triggers from a mod to easily change maps. So, how do you make a mod? There's two different ways. The easy way is to do new and do click mod. And then you can uh, click on whichever um, expansion you want to include. I'm not going to do that right now. Say you already have a map and you want to just transfer the data. So what you would do is save it as and um, instead of se2 map name it mod I might not let you do that so go into your folder and yeah it made it a map so let's change that to mod It's not letting me because it's open. So I'll close this. Okay. Let's try this again. Mod. And now it is a mod file. However, the mod, uh, when you look for it in the a, uh, editor, it does not search in this folder, so what you have to do is copy this and go into your program files, delete this, your program files, your StarCraft 2, and this is where your installation folder is, and then there is a mod folder. Now this may have been accidentally deleted in some patches, and if that's the case, simply just do new and create a new folder and name it mods. So then in that, you want to paste your mod in the program files. So now, how you use this mod is you can create a new map or whatever map you may have. I'm just going to do melee. then you need to save it. So let's do test map. So then you want to d go over to file dependencies and then go to add other and then should go right to that folder uh, where you have that saved and here are the default ones that are installed when you download the game and here is the mod that I saved to the folder so I can click OK and then all of the uh, dependencies and data that I had in that mod will appear in this map so I click OK 
and it'll take a minute to load all of those things in. And once it does that, you have a fully working map with a mod. Now what you also can do, once it finishes this, to do is you saw this earlier probably is if you click on the Battle.net tab you can go through you can also publish mods online so that other people can use it and you can download it and use it without having to have it on your computer so you would just go to um, go to my documents and that should have like this is one that I made it just has all of the uh, sounds and pictures from one of my maps so people don't have to download everything every time I push an update so that is how you make StarCraft 2 arcade mods thank you for watching